Hey guys, so today I am reacting to the finale of season two of Oshinoko and it is Sunday. So it feels really weird watching Oshinoko today, but we are finally at the end of season two. And I just have to say this season has been amazing. Every episode was a 10 out of 10 for me. And I'm just afraid of how this is going to end. That cliffhanger followed by a break, but that cliffhanger was absolutely evil. Okay, we have Aqua who's finally getting to live his life again and then we have Ruby. So it's like they switched roles and that's heartbreaking. Like it was heartbreaking enough to watch Aqua have that hold him down from actually living his life, the revenge that he felt inside. And now seeing that lifted, it made me so happy. But our girl Ruby, I'm so terrified. I'm so terrified what's about to happen. And I just have to give it up to Akane because girl, she was with Aqua hearing all this about his past. And I am wondering if she is going to put the two together because they went to the house. She knows the doctor's name. So oh, she's doing a lot. Akane is doing a lot. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a very heavy finale. We will have to see. Before I get started, make sure to check out Gamersups. Use code Jamie for 10% off. 10% off. <sighs> okay, time for the finale of Oshinoko. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Dude, I, uh, I just feel so bad for Ruby, man. Ruby, if you're tired, you can do Can you, girl? Oh my gosh, I, you just want to give her a hug? No, いたくなかっただろ。あんな口当てて黒手つくなもん。そうやってさ。全部一人で背負い込もうとして。ダメ。全部自分が悪いの。警察の人が言ってた。あの死体。殺した人が悪いに決まってるじゃん。I mean, yeah. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, just saying it has nothing to do with me at this point. Sounds kind of sketch. If I if I was listening to someone say that, I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> it's so sad that it was just like put there. Aww. But also... I am really starting to feel bad for Akane. I love that she is so nice. <laughs> uh, something's gonna happen. He's gonna say something. <laughs> Oh my gosh, girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, they're making this so sad. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, shit. But he's gonna live his life. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, I feel bad for Kana, but like, I'm happy for Aqua. And obviously, Akane, she's a good girl. So, damn. 
See, this is where I'm conflicted with everything. I like Akane. Like, she's really sweet. And I just feel like her and Aqua, I guess they haven't really explored, like, having a real relationship with each other. I feel like Kana and Aqua have more chemistry, and I do feel bad because, like, that happening. And Kana was so excited. So it's like, I'm happy for them, but I'm also sad because... Like, I want everyone to be happy, okay? I want Kana to be happy, and this is, ugh, this sucks. That was so romantic, though, <laughs> okay? Oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's seeing, okay? I'm like, ugh. What? What? What the heck? <laughs> Who is this girl? <laughs> oh my gosh, girl. I can't handle this, man. <laughs> Yeah, that would. Okay, but for like shoots that do that, don't they like put heaters or anything outside? Probably not the case for everything though. Yeah, because she didn't know this because she died. Oh gosh, putting all this together. Oh gosh. I mean, the father. I <laughs> like that would be so cold. Yeah, but I can't go to So she did. Nani does the Arima Kanawa. Oh my gosh. Kono group in the center at the moment. Took that name. Oh, who I hear you going to get a touch. Honestly, would be fun to add in a music video. Not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Look at her eyes, man. Oh gosh, she's gonna put this together. <sighs> oh my gosh, girl. No, <laughs> I hate I hate seeing Ruby like this. My gosh, we went through this with Aqua and now we completely just like <sighs> I am mad. I am so mad. Like, she should not have to go through this. Just her saying that is so heartbreaking. Having Ruby, she was like the happiest one. And it sucks that she went through this much of her life. Like, she's been enjoying it. She wanted to be like her mom. She wanted to be an idol. She thought the doctor, like the one person that she like loved in her past life dying. Finding all of that out, that's so much. And when she said, like, losing the two most important people to her, just hearing that was so... <sighs> Girl, I feel so bad for her, and that's a lot to carry at a young age. And, like, Aqua, he had that moment when he was a freaking child. Now it's her. Like, we have Aqua, who's finally now 
living his life and Ruby. Why can't we just have both of them happy? I don't think that's gonna happen until like... Wait until she finds out like her dad's behind this. Akane is like holding all of this. <laughs> oh, girl, I'm happy for her though. Oh boy. ふれたわね。そんなことない。配給で作品語るんじゃないわよ。十分すごいことじゃない。ふらやましいわ。ああ。いつまでも連リア気分でいいのかしら。もう連リアじゃないもん。おかしい。おお、ポーカナ、ポ
The little girl's mom? Oh my gosh. Okay, so is that like that little girl's mother that's like following them around? Is she even like alive? Is that little child like alive or is she just a ghost? <sighs> There's so much. There's so much to unpack there. It's really scary how just like carbon copy of Aqua he looks. Dude, this freaking asshole. <sighs> Just how much of a carbon copy of Aqua he looks. It just makes me so sad and angry. Like, everything that happened to Ruby in this arc, I am terrified for the next arc. Girl, she's going through it. Seeing her in that music video just slowly when she loses the sparkle in her eye and becomes dark like it did with Aqua when he went on his revenge journey and now she's on her revenge journey. And I think the saddest part for me was when they were making the wishes and prayers and she's like, I want Aqua to find him. Like she knows he's been looking for him. But like the crazy thing is now he's done. Like it's it for him. He stopped. <laughs> and girls, what? She's just gonna not say anything. I get that she doesn't know that he's Garu, Garu. Um, but... But I'm wondering why they aren't just having this conversation. I know Aqua wouldn't want to with Ruby because he doesn't want her to be in the place that he was. But girl is now. So I'm like, are they ever going to just talk about it? Like what happened to the mom? I guess like you would be afraid of bringing them down to this dark place. But honestly, I hope there's a point where Aqua actually tells Ruby because Right now, she thinks that, like, the doctor, the guy she loved, Garu, she thinks he is dead dead. Like, we know Garu is dead, but that's Aqua. I feel like just knowing that he's alive could help her move on. I feel like it's honestly the cure to everything that's happening. Because even if the father's dead, I don't even know if that would help Ruby. I do wonder if she'll ever meet him. Like, we saw them walk by each other before, but I wonder if she'll actually meet him. I wonder if she'll put together that the father was the one that was behind this. Because right now, she just knows the stalker guy and that there was another party. And she's like, okay, Aqua's on it. But Aqua already, like, knows who did it. There's a lot. There's a lot of layers. And Ruby, it... Oh, this entire episode, just such a depressing way to end because again, Ruby, she was always such a bubbly, cute character. And now just seeing her depressed and seeing her filled with revenge and anger and sadness, it breaks my heart. But yeah, make sure to subscribe. I will always be reacting to Oshinoko. I love this show. It's definitely in my top like favorite shows. It was a very emotionally painful show, but I do enjoy it. So oh, there you guys go. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay fresh, my.